Hello. Today I wanted to talk about a problem with the Chewy U box uh, with the VRAM. And apparently it's a problem with basically the Ryzen 5 6000 series CPUs. APUs, I guess, because they are now with the GPU. And the problem is the following. Once you update the adrenaline drivers, the VRAM control goes from the bias to the adrenaline software. And then in the adrenaline software, there's only two options of having either two gigabytes of VRAM or one, which is insufficient for any games, as I made a screenshot here. Uh, obviously it's an ultra, but like, obviously this is a very powerful GPU and it could handle this game on very high graphics, but obviously it can because there's the VRAM bottleneck. So today I'm going to talk about how to fix this. They first told me that they'll modify the whatever, blah, 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 until a user came in. At first, without any asking for a solution, and either he wrote to the service or maybe he, uh, he made like this guide. I'm not sure if it's a chewy thing, but I feel like it's something that he made because of the emojis. I don't think chewy would be using emojis. But it's in French, so I use Google Translate to machine translate from uh, French to English. And today I'll be trying to complete this guide and see if uh, maybe I can fix this VRAM issue on my uh, U-Box. First of all, when you log in, search settings here, or if you have the icon here too. And then click on apps and then install apps and wait for it to load anyways so i'll i'm really sure there's no adrenaline edition okay yeah because it's still amd software even so let's just uninstall even ad, uh, amd software Okay, it's still Adrenaline Edition, even if it doesn't say. Okay, so let's un uninstall MD. Something I didn't mention while before starting all of this. You'll also need display driver uninstaller for a better uninstallation. Because while the MD tool is useful, this one is even better. Just download the installer, open the setup, English, next, I agree, install, and that's it. Software, uninstall. So in my case, when I clicked on install and waited a couple of minutes, it decided to stop working completely without like uh, giving any display out. If in your case it finished correctly, then you should have a restart button or it should restart automatically in a couple of seconds or something. In my case, it bugged out and there was no display output until I held the power button and re force restarted the mini PC. Let's see if uh, the software uninstalled. Yeah. Okay. The screen is kind of darker, I think. Yeah, usually this means there's no drivers. Let's go to device manager and check from here. Yeah, also the corners are not rounded. Okay, so if we check now in display drivers, we'll have a Microsoft basic display driver. That's what we want to have. And... The next step will be complete cleaning with AMD cleanup software, the utility, uh, which is this link. Okay, uh, first we need to type in, first we need to go into safe mode. 
boot, save mode, minimum. Okay. Mm, without restart, because first what I'll do uh, is download this because it will won't have uh, internet. At first I thought it was some special link, but in reality it's just the MD drivers download uh, page. This one. And then I just had to scroll down to the MD cleanup utility. I, I think it's because I put the link wrongly. But that's an easier way to find it than like copying the link. I'll leave it in the description too, if I don't forget, obviously. Okay, here. Click here. Cool. So, Windows updates installed a generic AMD driver. Well, because I forgot I had Wi Fi on, uh, you could disable the installation or uh, uninstall the driver, but that's unnecessary because we'll uninstall it later in safe mode either way. So if you want to do that, you can do that, but if you don't want to bother, you can leave it on. Uh, okay. That's system settings. Then hardware. Device installation, no. The funny thing is that even when I disabled this, the default AMD driver kept installing either way, so I wouldn't bother. Anyways, let's just clean up the all of this and let's let's just restart at this point. Okay, now here it should be to go to device manager. We should have the basic display adapter. Cool. Yep. Cool. Now, something I also have installed is DDU, which is also recommended. Here I enabled all the options under AMD, ignore the other ones. GPU, AMD, clean and not restart. Wait, let's do msconfig. In my case, msconfig reset and save mode was disabled. If it if it's not, then disable it and change to normal boot mode. And clean and restart. I don't know what cleaning amd.rec file it's talking about. Because I don't even have one. So what I'll do now is turn it off. To do the next step. And DDU should have done the same thing as this file. Uh, okay. Now we need to turn off the PC and unplug it. Insert a paper clip. So this is how it looks basically. You take a paper clip and insert it into a hole on the side of the power button with the power cable uh, unplugged. Okay. So for the next step to open BIOS, you will need a wired keyboard, which I forgot that you need. And I turned it on, but it doesn't matter. You can just unplug it before it actually boots to Windows. Uh, in, in the case if you have a wired keyboard or one with a dongle that doesn't take a long, to, a long time to connect. But if you don't have that, you'll need to use the Windows recovery menu. That, uh, you can access it uh, when you boot into Windows. You can hold shift, then, the, then click restart. And in that menu, you'll find UEFI setup or something like that. Options, you click. Okay. And now let's go to advanced. Where was it? GFX and then set it to 4. What? I want it. Oh, you needed to default. Oh my god. 
let's see if it worked. Maybe it works like that. But I forgot to default the values. Oh my god, yeah, it worked even without doing that. Thank god. Holy shit. Cool. Uh, that's already like I want it to be. So now we'll need to download the driver without adrenaline outside of AMD. So like, but that's, I get the point either way. Uh, basically what we do now. Wait, Windows installed a driver. Let's see it's still working. It seems to be working, but there could be a case of it not working anymore. Uh, so like the idea now is to install the driver without adrenaline, whatever. I'm gonna open, where is the case brave? Now I'm, I'll just go to maybe solutions. Resources, downloads, drivers. Uh, I'll just download drivers with the installer to see if it works like that. So the idea now, it will detect everything. But when we have to do, select what we want to download, we just unselect uh, the traveling software. So what we do now, software type, either minimal or driver only, the ideal. Uh, I would do driver only just in case. What this does is that you can't have the fancy features like the recording or whatever other VS, but at least you have a working VRAM selector. And this, the, the, these problems with AMD drivers, they, they exist on everything at this point, I think, because uh, I have a RX 580 and I have all, I also like, can't uh, use any of the, the fancy features because they basically kill, they, they, they besot the whole system sometimes. And that this is basically what's in, what AMD is about. Cheap stuff, but their software is fucking awful. How's your adrenaline experience? Awful. Get rid of it. Just leave, get, give me the driver and that's it. Okay, so it, in, it did install the install manager, and I have the chipset driver school. Uh, let's do a restart and see if it stays like that. Uh, yeah, this also happens for some reason. Does it still work? And that's it for this issue. Thankfully, after months, someone came up with a solution. I blame both, AMD and Chewy. AMD for not generalizing the way that the VRAM is controlled, as some companies use the software, the Adrenaline Edition control panel, to control the VRAM amount, and other use the BIOS, and then there's a conflict when you have both. And Chewy for not providing a solution easily. Maybe if you, I wrote an email, they would have told me this. But I don't want to be writing any emails. We are the, It should be just a post in the FAQ forums, whatever. Uh, basically, yeah, that's it for this issue. Thank you for watching and see you next time.